Hello everybody, this is Sierra, and I guess this is my first update um, from the trail, which is pretty sad considering I've been out here for two weeks. Um, let's see, I'm at mile 225 or two, not 225, 125 or 126 around there. Um, I try not to check gut hooks too much because it definitely can um, boost you really high or it can bring you down real low when you think you've done, you've been crushing miles and it's like 0.6 later. Um, so I guess the first thing I want to say is it's been kind of hard for me to um, record a lot because I've been around so many people and I just feel as if um, it's not their... Um, like they didn't sign up to be in a bunch of, of my vlogs. So like I've been hiking with some people and it's just, you know, they don't want to be in it and I don't want to share their information. So I have kind of not been vlogging as much as I thought I would. Um, on top of that and not wanting to um, share people's information without their consent, um, I definitely have had a hard first two weeks. Um, I got injured, which was not in the plan, I guess. So what happened was I got the Zero Prio. I think that's what they're called. Zero is the brand. Prio is the style shoes. And I thought they were meant for desert hiking. And I guess maybe they are for people who are used to desert hiking. But I am not. And um, they really fucked up my feet. I don't know if I should have swore, but um, they really messed up my feet and I had a blister that was the entire ball of my foot um, to the point where in Julian people trail named my foot the beast um, and it was very, very painful so much that I kind of overcorrected and, you know, a combination of the shoes, the blisters, overcorrecting, um, I sprained my ankle, uh, which was great I guess um so I lost everyone I was hiking with between Julian and Warner Springs and then I took off a couple days in Warner Springs to um get better so the plus is <laughs> now my blister's healed and it doesn't hurt at all anymore it's still disgusting looking but it doesn't hurt and it's uh dry and healing and not disturbing and doesn't look like foot rot anymore um and then my ankle is feeling better. Um, both my ankles are kind of hurting. I think, you know, from over, then overcorrecting from the other ankle. Um, but I purchased boots at um, Two Foot Adventures in Warner Springs. Life changing, absolutely life changing. I would hike with boots back home, so I don't know why I thought that I wouldn't want boots out here. Um, my feet definitely feel better out here with the boots. Let me also show you. This is the view that I have right now. It's been a very cloudy day, um, which has been nice. Hold on, I have hair in my mouth. I don't know what you guys just saw there. Sorry. Oh well. Um, it's been cloudy and overcast today, which has been a nice change from the brutal heat wave that we had where it was over 90 with like no wind and doing like ridge walks, which was definitely hard on top of uh, limping. Um, but yeah, so tonight we're going to Mike's place. I am with Danielle and Wine Troll, which I uh, trail named him Wine Troll. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'm pretty excited to get to Idlewild because a couple of our friends are taking like triple or quadruple zeros there because they all rushed up there and now we're feeling it, so. We already did our double zero, which is crazy that we double zeroed so early on. But the thing is, too, almost every single person that I've met out here, almost every single person has been absolutely amazing and kind and helpful and and just amazing. And then you can meet a couple few, like a few people have definitely um, spoken up on how they think it's pretty ridiculous that I've been out here for two weeks and I'm only at mile 125 so that was hard to uh deal with that kind of criticism I guess because hike your own hike man I also still don't fully know how to pack my own pack so um I guess other than 
that. I feel like that's it. Um, I didn't replace any of my gear so far. Actually, that's a lie. That's an absolute lie. I replaced my Sawyer Squeeze, and people are telling me that mine was just defective, defected, defective, and that's why I hated it so much, but man, I hated that thing. So I got the Be Free Katahdin with a Hydro, um, Hydra, oh shoot, I can't think of what it is. I always call it Hydro Flask, but it's not Hydro Flask. Um, I got a Hydro whatever two liter bladder to go with my three liter bladder that I can drink from. So I have five liters there and then I have like a, just like a normal size Gatorade bottle so I can, you know, make my flavored electrolyte drinks. But I'm loving the Be Free so far. Amazing, worth it. Um, and I didn't, yeah, I didn't, other than that, other than the shoes and the water filtration, I didn't have to get new things or um, whatever, but I did pick up um, some, uh, gloves and a hat because it's been a lot colder in the desert than um, I thought. I just figured that the desert was always hot and sunny. <laughs> Turns out sometimes it's freezing. Um, what else did I get? I think that's it. Yeah, like I broke my headphones on like day one, which was not day one, maybe day two or three because I got stuck in Mount Laguna during a snowstorm. But one of my things that I'm going to write, I guess, for a blog post is I'm going to do like a very detailed um, trail town like analysis and do you know like how was the the store situation but then also like are they hiker friendly because let's just say there's a town in your first hundred miles and they hate hikers they hate us they hate us so much even if we're being polite and kind um, I think that's also I have a new buff. Um, I think her name is, uh, I think her name is Ice. Don't quote me on that. Um, a trail angel made PCT buffs for all of us this year. Um, and it's like my most prized possession. I freaking love it. Um, yeah, I think that's it for this vlog. Um, yeah, I guess I'll do another update now that I'm feeling better and I'm not around so many people. So that's this. Peace out.